360 degree reality. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial on Accent Studios. Uh, I know it's been a long time, but sometimes, you know, I go into my channel Accent Studios and I see the last video was four months ago and I'm like, what? I thought I made one like last week. Uh, anyway, let's get started with this tutorial right away. And uh, into this tutorial, we are going to be creating a cool uh, lasery engraving kind of effect, uh, which burns text or logos into stuff, you know, into the background. Uh, so either like if you want to go for a hefty laser look or like a bit um, cleaner here. Okay. Um, so. I would say let's just make a new composition that's always the first step in my tutorials click OK and then I'm just going to make a text and just type in whatever I'm not go actually going to type in whatever am I no can I'm so narcissistic I'm just going to type in accent okay great and uh, now I'm going to center the anchor point there's a lot of scripts uh, also free scripts to do that, but you could also just use the pan behind tool. And then I'm going to align the layer into the middle. Cool. And then the whole magic starts. So go to effect and then uh, where is it? Generate Vegas. Um, and then we can see we have this weird looking stroke around our text layer. And what this effect does, it actually it looks for the contours of the layer um, you applied Vegas to, and yeah, applies a stroke around it. So you could also like uh, you could also use a logo or whatever you want. So now we need to edit this whole thing a bit. So the segments we want only one huge segment and rendering should be transparent so we don't see the annoying fill anymore now we can see this kind of cool tapered stroke effect here which is also a nice tool you could animate it like this whoops animate your logo like this it's an animation itself too uh why not um but now for our purposes we want the opacity to be 100 percent for the whole what the fuck the whole thing so that it looks something like somehow like this and now we can even animate the length as like a trim path thing so i'm going to make a keyframe at zero go forward or forward uh, two seconds change it to one and let's end the composition here pressing n okay now we can see we have this very boring trim paths animation select both keyframes click f9 and then we're going to animate the uh, change the graph a little bit so we have a bit more exciting animation whoop it's perfect okay and um, now we already have our base okay so we want to we want to create these long streaks these laser lights uh, and for that, I'm just going to duplicate the layer, hide the first one because it's our base layer, which we, uh, which will be the uh, layer revealed by the laser. And now I'm going to go to effect. Uh, what is it? Channel. Yeah. And add minimax. Okay, just minimize Vegas. Okay. And what minimax does, I can change this to 200, for example and then uh, select alpha and color um, and then let's just change this to just horizontal okay now you can see it kind of uh, looks for uh, it looks for any kind of color it can find in this layer and stretches it so now we have a few problems to solve like uh, first problem is uh, if I rotate this thing of course the text will rotate with it too but we want the text to be exactly in the um, like looking like wait I'm going to drag this above this one and change the color so we can see it okay we want the text to be exactly in this spot all the time without rotating but we actually want to rotate the minimax effect which we can't do inside the, the minimax effect itself so we need to work a little magic and expressions etc but that's no problem for us okay so 
first of all, let's go to effect, generate. Uh, is it under generate? Nope, it's under distort, of course. Uh, transform, exactly. Okay, and not only add one of them, but duplicate it and drag one of them above minimax. And one should be underneath. Okay, so in case you didn't know that yet, uh, the distribution of distribution of effects actually matters. It's um, yeah, it, uh, one effect is added above each other. So for some effect combinations, it just can change a few things. For example, with this combination. So if I change the rotation in transform two here, the whole thing will rotate. But if I change it in here, it will only rotate the minimax effect. So with this precondition, we can uh, write a little cool expression. Um, just alt click the rotation here or option click if you're on Windows and type in minus, take the pick whip and just select the rotation of the other transform effect. Now, if I change this rotation, you can see the text will always stay perfectly not rotated, but the minimax effect will rotate, which is exactly what we want. So we could change this to 45 degrees. Now, the thing is, uh, you can see the whole thing will move around a little bit because um, the minifex, a minimax effect works with radius. Radius always means in uh, all directions. So we need to make another expression uh, for the transform one position just option click it and um, then we just we're just going to type in value zero which is always the x property so it's going to be 960 for this layer uh, but if i change it it will change this too so it's it's uh, value zero says nothing more than the value that you type in here uh, and then type in plus the Minimax radius. I know plus might seem a little weird, um, but the position in After Effects uh, X and Y uh, axis are kind of weird. So, and then comma value of one, which is just the second, the, the Y property. Okay, and now as we rotate this, you can see. Uh, everything works perfectly fine. And if I change the radius, let's zoom out there. You will see everything will stay at its place, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now we can move on. Um, so as you can see, we have this kind of a uh, problem that the laser layer, the long shadow layer uh, is this whole segment. But we only want a little segment here. So <clears throat> so for that, luckily in Vegas effects, we have a property called rotation, which does nothing more than the trim paths offset option. So, uh, and this is exactly what we're going to use. Okay, so let's go to the beginning here and delete our length animation and change it to whatever, 0.15. Okay, actually only 0.1. Cool, now we have this segment uh, for each letter. And now if I rotate this, you can see we have, we already have this kind of laser animation. However, there is a small problem. If I uh, animated the rotation here, um, let's just do that right now to 360 degrees. And then of course, and copy ease, you should definitely get this script. It saved me so many times and it's just uh, part of my workflow now. Uh, and then paste it on here. Okay. And then we can see uh, we have this laser animation, but the problem is it's offset by a little, it's, it's not, um, aligned with our uh, stroke. So uh, what we would need to do right now is since our length is at 0.1, it should start at the rotation should start at minus 36 degrees. And we could do it like that. But we want to actually animate the length of the laser. 
um, so it's going to be at zero in the beginning then somewhere in the middle it's going to be 0.1 and then in the end it's going to be zero again so it disappears again like this so now uh, as you might have predicted by now uh, we need to make another expression for the rotation but it's not going to be a weird rotation whatsoever it's just going to be very basic so let's pick whip our rotation um, so that means where our animation our keyframes uh, always will stay will will define the animation uh, but then we need to add um, minus the length which is animated to times 360 because we have 360 degrees but uh, length is only one is the maximum okay and uh, now let's see if this worked yes 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 okay nice you can as you can see the laser is always uh, perfectly aligned with the stroke and yeah that's exactly what we want so next thing uh, there's actually a cool option in Vegas which allows us to make an even nicer looking effect was it this one uh, start opacity actually yeah yeah okay cool now we have this uh, decay in opacity too oh shit it's actually the we want, yeah, exactly. Just uh, change the start opacity to zero, change nothing else. And now we have this nice lasery, um, I don't know what to call it. It's like a transition to black, um, which is exactly what we want. Now our colors are pretty bad by now. So we need to change a bit about this. So. In rendering in Vegas you can uh, mess around with the colors and I'm just going to use some bright blue because that's kind of I don't know what what we uh, know from Star Wars and stuff so <laughs> uh, I'm going to add this for also the stroke and now let's change the mode to add because then we can see we get this kind of glowing effect wherever the laser is which is cool because we want the logo to be burned into the background. Um, and if I duplicate this, we get an even more glowing laser here, which is cool, which is very cool. Uh, and now what we can do with this layer, if we duplicate it once more and to make only this layer visible, um, we can actually change the minimax to zero. And now we have a stroke just like the top layer here, but uh, it's is the exactly the same animation as our laser which is cool for creating uh, an even more more of a burning effect um, and we can do that by changing the color to okay yellowish orange whatever and even adding a glow effect where is that um, I think it's under stylase glow yeah okay and then change this to maybe a radius to six, I don't know. Okay, cool. Make all the layers visible again. And then we can duplicate this once more. And now as you can see, it already looks pretty dope. Sorry, my rendering is still so slow. Still haven't gotten a new computer, even though I've been planning to get one like since six months, but I'm just too lazy to, uh, build one I want to build a Hackintosh in fact so uh, now one more thing we can uh, add is duplicate our uh, laser once more again and then change the minimax to I don't know it should oh shit it should be like 20 or something yeah that's cool and then go to effect uh, blur and sharpen directional blur changes to blur length to I don't know just try something 30 oh of course change the direction to 45 degrees okay maybe uh, make the blur length even longer 40 yeah that should be good and now if I make everything visible again 
and change the color of this to some orange thing again. Um, then we can see this cool, another glowing like effect. Um, and if you don't want the blur to go down to the left, you could always just duplicate your layer, uh, your laser layer once again, and use it as a um, alpha mat. Okay. And now if I duplicate this once again, we have this really strong, strong glow. But yeah, you can play with the colors and whatever, uh, however you want. I'm not so good in editing colors and using those modes and stuff. So you would probably do a way better job um, with this glow and stuff. Um, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and stay tuned for um, a bunch of more tutorials in the future. Bye.